Hey guys, welcome to Master Gaming VR. We are here to check out Ghost Giant from developer Zoink. This is a PSVR exclusive that is got some weird release date schedules. It is releasing digitally today as I record this, April 16th. Uh, it has released on the PlayStation Store. It is releasing physically in the EU on uh, April 19th. And then in North America, it releases physically May 2nd. So if you want an actual CD that you stick into your PlayStation and you're in North America, you're going to have to wait until next month. I don't understand it. Uh, we almost need an EA flowchart to, to let us know how this game is releasing. It's a little weird in my opinion, but there are two different publishers handling the different distributions. So that kind of explains things. I'm not going to go into that. It's, it's confusing and it, it's needlessly confusing in my opinion. But this is Ghost Giant. Uh, as I said, it is from developer Zoink. It is a PSVR exclusive. Uh, it is about five to six hours of gameplay across 13 levels. Uh, and basically the, the premise is that you dead and dead people get lonely. So why not go find a random little boy and, and haunt him? That's, that's basically what I got out of the press kit where we're haunting a little boy. I mean, it's what I do. Okay, maybe not really. No, I probably wouldn't do that. But essentially, you're helping a boy named Lewis uh, overcome various obstacles. Um, I'm kind of imagining, and, I'm, and I might be wrong here, but I'm kind of imagining lemmings only with one lemming and feels. It really, it really looks like there is an emphasis on story in in Ghost Giant, um, and really, you're 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 getting like a five to six hour narrative experience is what I'm expecting going into this. Uh, and they're they're really aiming to sort of break that fourth wall between the player and the protagonist um you know just just that emphasis really strongly on uh, emotional ties to your character and and conveying that story even so much that they they pulled in uh, an international uh, author internationally acclaimed author i've not heard of her before but maybe you have uh sarah b elfgren and I may have butchered that name, and I apologize if I have. Uh, I don't know if any of you out there have read any of her things. If you have and it's on Audible, um, drop a comment down below. I would love to to check out some of the stuff. I like fantasy novels, um, so if she's done fantasy, then then drop a link down and let me know what. Uh, if you're a fan of her, let me know what her best book is. If I should. Uh, if I should check out one of her books. But enough talking about that. Let's go ahead and get in the game and uh, haunt this little boy. That's all. Okay, so here we are in Ghost Giant, and we have a nice, uh, we have a nice little lobby area here. I am doing this for the second time, uh, as the first time the footage was a bit corrupted. No, it didn't white come out the way it was supposed to uh so we did get up to scene five the harbor um it's a little blurry on my end but should be uh should be readable on your end um and this this place is uh pretty fun you can just like chuck stuff off into the void just like goodbye that's a nice little kid here we don't really have a name for him he's gone uh running with scissors check um i don't think we can yeah, we can't do anything with the sun, even though it looks like we can grab it. We can't, like, make the sun go somewhere. Um, I have no idea what that is, but that's gone. Off into the void. Screw that chair. And, uh, this guy. This guy's... We have a couple of different... Nope, nope. We want this. So we have, um... Yeah, this must be Lewis, and this must be Lewis's best buddy, or whatever. They're both gone. Anyways, um... So we can change subtitles, uh, language, obviously English. There are quite a few different languages, French, Italian, Dutch, Spanish, and English. Um, we can run through the tutorial um, or do height adjustments. We don't really need to do any of those. We've already got them all locked down. Uh, so we're going to jump straight into scene by the lake. Uh, and as you see, once you play through these, you can unlock them. Uh, and we've played all the way up to the harbor there are these uh hats that you can find um making a basketball shot 
uh, finding a bug or finding a windmill. I don't know what the windmill is. I haven't found one of the windmills. Uh, but as you can see here, I found all three hats, made the basketball shot, found the bug, didn't find the windmill. Um, so we're going to go all the way back to scene one and press the button. It's weird that you have to press the, uh, the PlayStation button to get the pointer out uh, to interact with things instead of the trigger. My first playthrough, I kept trying to interact with the trigger. Uh, so I was holding the trigger down and, and doing all the things, and I don't have hands here. What happened to my hands? Oh, okay. The loading screens are, are quite long. So we are summoned by his tears, it seems. So I have a feeling we are... we're, we're Molly. This is kind of... well, spoilers, sorry. This is why I don't like doing this, I like going in blind. That'll be okay, buddy. Huh? Hey! It's a ghost! A giant yeah, ghost. I'm kind of like just arms. A giant ghost giant. Boop! <laughs> So one of the things that one of the things that I'm going to mention in the outro, because I've already recorded the outro, uh, is this area over here. So this there's this like artificial box that I am in, and I feel haptics when I'm touching this, and my controller will track outside this box, but they just sort of have this artificial. This is how far you can reach from where you're standing, um, and it's much shorter over here. You can see that this. I, I, I can almost completely extend my arm from over here, and I'm, hell, I'm even farther that way. <clears throat> so right in the center, I can barely move this arm out without hitting it. Over here, I can almost completely extend my arm. It's you're not dead center in this dead zone, and once you hit this force field, your controller starts vibrating, and you can't like reach past it and interact with anything in the world over there, which is a little frustrating. Um, but all of these brass things right here, like you can see the, the, the top of that is brass. There we go. Just, we'll, we'll take this and... You were fishing and then you fall asleep. Yeah. And this is just a dream, Louis. A very, very realistic dream. Like that time you thought you were a giant marshmallow, but then you started chewing on it and woke up with down in your mouth. It's just like that. Yeah, just like that. Totally just like that. Everything's going to be okay. Just... Long down, Louis. It's not real. Poke. It's, 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 real. it's super real. <laughs> you probably you probably shouldn't do that, dude. Come on, Louis. Um. Come on. Uh, can I like? No, no, shit, no. Very gently. No, 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 shit, no, 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 no. All right. Help! Now see, this this is one of the things I was talking about. I can't reach up high enough to really get this, and it falls. There you go. I just sort of flail and get there by accident. Nope, 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 nope. Stay, stay. You you stay. You stay. Nope. God damn it. Good boy. No, I didn't mean. I'm sorry. I wasn't trying to drown you. I was trying to pet you. No, that, that is not helping. That... It could be helping. Okay. Okay. You're fine. Yeah. You're fine, Louis. You're fine. You're fine. And hey. the treehouse too. Yeah. No, tree treehouse is good. It's it's great. Uh, no, 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 no. No. Um. Oh. Shit. Um. Just happened. Um, 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 yeah, I'm sorry. Oh, the flag Maurice made. It's so worn out. I wonder what Maurice is doing now. Yeah, he's probably got another best friend. It'll be okay, guy. Oh, you're still here. Yes, yes, I'm still here. So huge. I am. I gotta go. Home. 
And that way? So, thanks. We can go home. Bye. See you there. Bye. Boop. So, that's pretty much the extent of the levels. Uh, you're going to follow him around on his story. And this is your, your anti-loading boredom thing, is you get like little sparkler trails of ectoplasm until the game decides that you don't deserve those anymore. Uh, scene 2, the farm. On the farm. Alright, we're back. Okay. Here, you getting tired, dude? Yoink. It's back. Yeah. Scared, freaking scaredy cats, man. No. Whoa. It's gigantic. Whoa. Is it helping me? Whee. You missed some over there. You some are you complaining? You're, you're gonna complain. I just did like a whole week's worth of work for you, and you're gonna complain. <laughs> um, you've got really big hands. Yeah. What's wrong with your ear? Thank you, but, but why are you helping me? Because I'm cool like that. I'm sorry I panicked. I just... You should be. I've never seen anyone like you before. Me either. Who are you? Uh, awesome. Someone's coming. Hurry up and hide! Come Where on. the hell am I gonna hide? hide. Where? Here, uh, look. I can't grab the tree, sorry dude. Don't be scared. It isn't dangerous. What are you talking about? Have a tire. You, you can't see it? See what oh! <gasps> my, by my lustrous name, what on earth is that? Oh no! Don't worry. I'm I don't pretty know. sure it doesn't want to eat us. I am joking. Well, maybe not you. What's the matter with you? You look like you've seen a ghost. I um <clears throat> Here you are, some nice and tender asparagus. Thank that's you. disgusting. Go away. So that's that's Mom? nasty. Mom? Uh, by the lake, fishing. Yeah. Tell her we need to talk about that bill later. The bill. Yeah. Of course. Don't forget. See you I later, mean, Louie. You're not getting paid for the asparagus because no one asked for the asparagus. No one wants the asparagus. Maybe you should bring some steak. Some chicken. Uh, Maybe even some fish. Uh, any, any. Wasn't entirely true, but no. Anyhow, m my name is Louis. Uh, what's your name? Do you have a name? Mom. Okay. And don't you forget it. I actually was a late talker. My mom told me so. I was completely quiet, and then one day, out of the blue, I said, "Potato." Potato. <laughs> kind of weird, huh? Yes, you're very weird. You're a very weird little rat. Could you? Could you come closer, please? Yes, uh, we shall kiss now. May I? May I touch you? I don't know which which eye you guys are seeing out of. Whoa. There's left eye. You really are. There's right eye. A giant ghost. There's cross-eyed. Can I call you Ghost Giant? You're a creative kid. So, what happens if you touch me? Boop. Boop. <laughs> Boop. Boop, 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 boop. Oh, dear. Here, umbrella. Ghost umbrella. The key. Where's the key? I'm sure I had it in my pocket. Oh, no. Maybe I lost it by... I'm pretty sure a key that size is not going to fit in your pocket, kid. Here. Try a tire. It's a beautiful hat. I wish he'd react to that. Here. Here, you have, have the plant. No. Be on the lookout for brass objects. They are important and can often be grabbed or poked. That poked right there is very important. Now, where to hide my precious treasure? Yoink! Oh, damn it, I missed. Give me that back. Huh. Where was I? <clears throat> right. Where to hide it? 
Poke. Hey. <laughs> uh, that's a pretty good hiding place, actually. The only problem is how to get it out. Hmm. Hello, shiny thing. I can see you. I love you, you know. Mwah. You're you're a very creepy person. Bird thing. Ha! I found it. Mother. Yeah, you found it. I found it first. Whoa! No, I'm pretty certain. I am pretty certain you're both insane. I'm sorry, Mr. But you must be mistaken. I'm most certain. Yeah. Fine. Keep it. There are more shiny things in the sea. So if you let them just argue, uh, eventually he will actually win. I think. I'm pretty sure that's what I did last time. Grow and grow and... Oh! Rats! Oh, rats. There's rats. Oh. 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 I guess the rats got hungry this winter. It's all right. Here. Don't panic, Louise. We'll just put this on your head and then steal. We'll, we'll use this. We'll put it on someone's head and then we'll steal. You must go to town and buy more sunflower seeds. No, no, we'll do this. From the shopkeep. Money, but it'll be fine because you're not alone anymore, Louise. You have a giant ghost following you around and helping right. you, and you have no idea why. But. It's a good thing, and everything will be okay. All right. Yeah. So, yeah. S screw this plan. Here. I'm going to tell you a secret. Ooh. I've been teaching myself. Is, to is that? For emergency I don't know. Only, and this is definitely an emergency. But what right. if someone sees me? I'll take the forest road. There's less traffic there, and I'll bring a disguise. Huh. Poke. I need something to make me look. Old enough to drive a car, not too old to drive one either. Jank. If only I had a beard. Oh. Hello, I'm a grown-up man driving my car like I've been doing for the past 30 years of being a grown-up. Yep, that's totally going to work. Absolutely. Full confidence. Except for the fact that I don't have any confidence and this is a horrible idea. Poke, 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 poke. Stupid push, push, push. No, no pushing. Mom used to push the car down the hill when it wouldn't start. That seems like a bad idea. Uh, could could you help me with the car, please? Ah, uh, careful. You be careful. Look, go down the hill now. Because the obvious hill right there is not the hill that they want. They want this hill over here. Oh. No, come. No, come. Wait for me. Well, shit. All right, well. Ears adjusted. Seat belt on. Hands on the wheel. Deep breath. <gasps> this hill is really steep. Yes, it is. Not really. Come on, car. All right, all right. We're just going to put the tire on there. Are we? Last time I just threw it on here, so I'm waiting to see if he says anything about it. Hey, ghost giant, follow me! Good thing I know how to break. Do you? Hey, that kid's totally friggin' dead. Our goal is just to make another ghost. Oh, yeah. And we lost it. Scene three, the forest road. So these scenes are pretty short until you get to a puzzle that you just can't figure out. Hey, buddy. Oh, I found a thing. I don't know what thing I found, but I found a thing. Yeah, probably. 
right, so there is the basketball, the hoop net thing, the sports ball thing, and here's the sports ball. And you actually have to throw the sports ball in the sports ball thing, which isn't as easy as one might think when you're horrible at sports balling and the move controllers don't really give you the accuracy that you need to throw sports balls around. Which is my excuse for I'm bad at sports balls. So if you can get it in the sports ball thing, where'd it go? How many times have I said sports? Hey, I sports balled. Yay. So if I had done that for the first time, I would have gotten the, the unlock. You can do it. I can, apparently I can sports ball with those. Or, or not. Ugh. Here, have a sports balls. You should carry the sports balls. You should have that. No, no, you should. <sighs> Fine, kid. There, it's gone. No, no. I said no. Go. Get out of here. So, at this point, I wonder, how did anyone get through this, this path without a giant? So be mindful of targets uh, in the far distance and try throwing things at them. So again, you have to be good at the sports balls, which I am not, and throw a thing at the stuff. Okay, close enough. So... We had to unblock the boulders, we had to remove the tree, we had to knock down that path, and, and now, wait, don't no, stop, stop. And now, we, we have some weird crank here to rearrange the very, the very fabric of this island here. There we go. Oh, and uh, now we have to blow in the microphone. I'm sorry if this sounds horrible, but... <sighs> that does give you a very Superman-esque feel. <laughs> like, I'd really like to see that in, like, a, a DC VR game. This is Superman's uh, ice breath. I think that would be really cool. And as you can see, I found uh, the basketball, I found the, the blow thing, and I did not find the bug. Um, so you just, like, pick things up that you can see in range, and eventually you will find the bug. Um, this is where things get difficult. That looks like brass, but I can't grab it. Can't grab my brass there. Um, what is, hey, what are you? Hey, dude. Do you have my bug? I feel like he's probably got the bug. Yeah. And so this is where I spent a lot of my time, is just looking for the weird things that, uh, that I couldn't find. And I know where a decent number of them are, but not all of them. And like I said, I'm, right now I'm just waiting for him to come through and maybe see if he has any ideas or answers. Poke? Oh? Nope. Yeah, so I have no idea. Oh, hey, there he is. We found him. Hey, there's the bug. So we found the bug. So we've 100% we've cleared this thing. So to the next area. Yay. Let's see. M G V R. I 
These load times are really long, and I don't know if this is enough to really sate my boredom. It gets really old really quick. Scene 4, Ghost Artist. This is the scene that took me the most time to get through, and I am going to tell you why when I get there. Because it was really annoying. But this is cool. Wow. It's not going to let me do it. And you were amazing. I, I know, thank you. Thank you. Humongous boulder with my giant hand. Raw. Throw it away. I could I never can't interact with anything. You. You're absolutely right, kid. Do you know what we need? A motto. That works too. Slap my hand. Come on. Do it. I'm slapping you. Ah, that's it. There we go. Oh, uh, bump like this? Like this. Whoa. I'm pretty sure I just punched him in the face. That's our secret handshake. Slap, punch. Oh, it's stuck. Oh, I wanted to put it on him. Still got a niche behind my ear. Can't reach it. This is the sound of him purring. All done? Thank you. All right. Let's go see Monsieur Toulouse. Let's do this. I'm a musical genius. No, they're not. Stop. Please! Want to get rid of them? What was I born to a family of vegetable traders? Why do I lack the courage to try some other profession? Why? I don't know. Why? Yes, you are. You can see the, uh, the interactions when you get to the edge of the screen here, the edge of the tracking, just end up getting nasty. So just anything brass you can grab, and uh, hey, look, there's our buggy. All of these uh, little brass knobs here, you can just grab that and toss that away and just sort of, you know, destroy everybody's houses. It's cool, though. Uh, there's a taco here that uh, you can't eat for whatever reason. I don't know why. The, the taco is a hat? Is the taco a hat? You don't need that hat. You need a taco for a hat. The taco's a hat. I didn't realize the taco was a hat. All right. Well, okay. Um, so we've got this, which will flip the house around, and we will be able to see this next little bit of story. Rose is a rose is a rose. Bonjour. Why are you making out with your roses? <coughs> are you okay, Monsieur Julie? <coughs> no, he was making out his, with his flowers. He's clearly disturbed. <coughs> Hey you, I remember you. I haven't seen you in a while. You're that asparagus lady. No, your mother. We've been very busy. Actually, we were just about to plant sunflowers. Louis. But then it turned out the rats had eaten all the seeds. I can't give you any more credit. Because he's a jackass. Oh, my dear boy, but your mother has too many unpaid bills. Where is she, by the way? At home. She sprained her ankle, so I hitched a ride with Madame Lefebvre. Ah, Madame Lefebvre. How is she these days? Is her mane still as lustrous? You're a pervert. I guess. Listen, Louis. I'm all out of sunflower seeds. There was a shipment due this morning, but something must have happened to it. I'd go down to the harbor, but I'm simply too busy. I'll go. Too busy molesting your sunflowers? You can do this, Louis. After all, you're just a little boy. Yeah. A very large friend. Pardon? Uh, nothing. It's in his pants. I'll take care of it. I promise. Very well. Talk to the harbor master, Monsieur Cousteau. Okay, great. Thanks. Bon courage, young man. What he said. Give me the thingy. Give me the thingy. Give me the thingy. Yay. Oh dear. It's Madame Lefebvre. 
Oh no! Oh. I know I think somebody's there. Bonjour, Monsieur Bonbon. Here's your asparagus. Nobody wants the friggin' asparagus. He's a goddamn lion. How are your vegetables doing? Horrible. Great. No, they're not. Have a look. No. Look, there, there are flies. They're rotting. They're obviously rotting. Because he hates them. Protecting them from the sun. The sun. Yes. They're a special kind of tomatoes. The shy kind. Oh, okay. So, uh, how's business these days? Horrible, he's a fruit seller. It's fine, <laughs> you know, and green, sometimes red, definitely healthy. Speaking Those of green, green, I'm here with your asparagus. No one wants your asparagus. Something good. Hello? Shush, I'm waiting, for, I'm watching this drama, you shush. Yes. Oh, we can do this all day, Monsieur Bonbon. I bet you could. Hide me, we please. Can, Madame Lefebvre. Quick, before she sees me. Hmm. Wear a hat. Okay, I think that's all of their drama. I need a trash can. The flowers, Madame Lefebvre. Oh. Look at the state of those tomatoes. They are an affront to tomatoes everywhere. You're not worthy of my asparagus, Monsieur Bonbon. You're a disgrace to the vegetable trade. And you're just a bitch. Go away. Fact, I detest vegetables. Good day, yeah, fist bump. Fist bump. I will indeed. Adieu. Adieu, madame. Rip. Louis, what are you doing here? Where's your mother? She's at the cemetery. You know how she loves tombs. But I told her about the bill, and she's definitely going to pay. Very well, then. See ya. Uh, See ya. Have a nice day. Hmm. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Are you sure you want to do that? Or did society put that idea in your head? We're blocking this bridge as a statement. Why? Because there's, there's no true art in this town. So there's a bridge right over there. You want more art? Little guy gets it. Good for you, little guy. Yes, Odile. I can't remember. Am I in love with you this week? I think you're in love with Jim. <sighs> I think you're in love with Excuse neither me? of us. Either way, we're all. Hey, people. Big Blue. Certainly. Hey. Never mind. What's cracking, buddy? I don't know what's cracking. Okay. All right. So they want art. We have a blue shiny thing here, and we have more brass that we need to find. And oh, hey, here's the ball. Where's the thing? The thing's way the hell over there. I'm not gonna make that throw ever. Uh, I think I did once, but it was after many, many attempts. Many. Many attempts, because bad at this. Very, very bad at this. All right, so we need to... I'm going to recenter back here, farther away from the camera, because it feels like I'm losing some tracking. Um, we need uh, to find that thing, and I think it is here. Yes, there it is. And we just stick it on there, and now we can flip the house around. It sort of gives us the answer for a lot of this. Godforsaken. You're right. Here. Take the hat. There we go. Alright. So we have a canvas. And we have a paintbrush, which is conveniently ghost giant sized. And there's green. Lots of sloppy green. And blah. Green. You can see that the paintbrush is. The paintbrush is very weird. Clean it off. 
Yeah. Like, why Why did I do that? Why? Alright, anyways. Fuck your tomatoes. I agree. Lots of red. Sure. Yes, probably ketchup. Uh, so we have yellow over here. That is, that is oozing with yellow. Not yet, I think. I think that. And yellow. And I'm not, I'm not trying to do that. I'm really not trying to do that. There we go. What's missing? Let's add something blue. Blue. Squashy. Well, like you. And toad. Can I blue me? No. We can we can completely fuck the Bye. <laughs> I'm not I'm I'm I, I did want to show how horrible the paintbrush is, but I'm not trying to do that. I did not intentionally attempt to do that. It does come back. We we haven't lost it forever. Um, so you can see that there is blue dripping from over there. And there's a target over there. So we have to throw a thing at the thing. So where's the thing that I can throw at the thing? Here's the thing I can throw at the thing. Uh, um, okay. Well, I turned myself accidentally. And there we go. And it squirts out some juicy, juicy stuff. And blue goo. And blue goo. No? Give me the... Okay. What the hell? Uh, again, I'm not trying to do this. I take that. Alright. Um, so more blue goo, please. More... This town is so blue. Keep going. Blue. Get more darkness. Darkness. All right. So this is what took me for friggin' ever. So. I couldn't find any friggin I couldn't find any friggin darkness over here at all. Um, I did see this. This is dripping right here. Um, and I took what's the paintbrush? I took the paintbrush and I tried. I tried sticking it in there. I tried sticking it in here. I tried like grabbing it. Um, I tried throwing things at it, uh, and and nothing worked. And this is why I say, make sure that you uh, remember to poke things, because no matter what you do to this thing, you can't get the the darkness. Unless, apparently I can't get this, this block right here. You can't get the darkness unless you poke it. And apparently, um, okay, there we go. Now it's gone. So you have to poke the shit out of it to get it to start leaking oil. And then you can dip your brush in. That took me way too friggin' long to figure out the first go around. I'm making it darker. Hey, there's a fucking happy hot dog. That's horrifying. Oh. Oh, such passion, such vision. Such wiener. Do you paint this, madame? I actually I'm not sure how it got there. Mm, don't be modest, madame. You're a great artist. Yeah, totally, totally the best. It's so subversive what you're doing. Pretending to be a phony landscape painter. But yeah, pretending, totally pretending. You're a revolutionary visionary. Why? Why, yes, I am. We salute you, madame. I'm Odile, by the way. Please, call me Nikki. I dig that. Huh. Well, that turned out pretty. Pretty. I get it. <laughs> What's up? 
Okay then. Let's rearrange everybody's hat. Uh, so we found the bug. We found all of the things. We didn't find the the thing to blow. Um, and I think that you just like wander around and, and blow things, and and see if eventually you come across something that is blowable. So just keep trying to blow people until you find the people that you can blow. And I'm not going to do that because that feels really awkward. And I'm just not going to do that. So I don't care about the thing that we have to blow. I don't know what we're looking for. Yeah, see? Um, so we're just going to go. And I'm probably never going to find this thing unless I Google it. And I think um, Googling what to blow... Uh, is not going to get me the search results that I expect. Right, at this point, we are about uh, one third of the way through the game. There are, uh, I believe it was 13 of these chapters, and we're on scene five. Uh, so they're really very short. Uh, but we'll run through this one as this will be my first time going through this. I didn't do this one in the first recording. Uh, and we, we uh, sped through the first four really quick. So we'll do some of this one. Uh, I don't want to completely spoil the story. Even though I'm talking over these guys' story entrance right now. Hi, matey. What can I do for you? Are you Monsieur Castel? The harbor master? Aye, lad. But not for long, I'm afraid. I don't get this crane up and running. Yeah. Fucking crane. Cargo from the ships. Yar. Is that the ship transporting sunflower seeds? Aye, and some mighty fine Wellington boots that I'm itching to put me feet in. These ones squeak. Okay. Squeak, squeak. Um, well, what's wrong with the crane? It's been gutted. Some scurvy scallywag has taken off with its innards, and I can't leave me post. Yar. I'll look for the missing parts. Aye, what's your name, lad? Of course we will. Lewis. It's mighty kind of ye to help an old sea dog in need. Ahoy, Captain Pellicard! I got some unexpected help here! You collected kelp here? Really, this is not the time to discuss your interest in seaweed! <laughs> Seriously, dude. Hmm, I wonder what the missing parts look like. Okay, this is forward. Let's switch around. Here, take the hat. Right, we'll probably need that for something. It's probably for all of that. I wish I could give myself a push. Push? Time to clean up this harbor. Nope. No. <laughs> I did it! I did it! Time to die! <sighs> Look at this mess! Okay, we got his hair. Found the uh found the basketball. Messy, messy, messy. Is this is a hat? Here, you have a hat. A pencil? Is it it doesn't draw. Thank you for the chair. I don't know. But it's going it's down there again. Um so we're turning. And, you know, why don't we check this at it? Wow, that goes really straight. I'm gonna move out of the way. Am I supposed to load it? No. Alright, well. We'll figure that out later. Uh, we have more brass things to... Extortion letters would be so hard! Oh, I wish I had a pearl. Then I'd be rich, and the scheme wouldn't be necessary. Oh well. <clears throat> Dear Monsieur Cousteau, be afraid. 
be very afraid. Very, very afraid. The master thief, Cory Picker, who has rendered your crane at, uh, on, on, uh, I broke it. And I won't tell you where the parts are until you promise to give me 20%, no, 50% of all shiny things that enter the harbor. And by shiny, I mean gold, pearls, diamonds. Uh, did I mention pearls? Actually, make that 60%. You have six, no, five days. Signed, Monsieur P. This is my most brilliant. Oh, my. So shiny. We're just going to take this. I can even see my reflection. Hello there. Aren't you handsome? No, you're handsome. No, you are. Okay, there you go. So, we have four more to get. Did I say four more or four, uh, four total? Nice! Alright, let's go. Alright, secret handshake. I just punched you in the face, kid. That was fun. That looks like some sort of engine. Okay, so we probably have to do something with that. We've got more brass over here. Oh, good. We've just got a... tracking. The tracking. There you go. And here's a hat. Hey, we found a hat. Um, here you have this hat. Uh, let's see. So am I. But the stairs are broken and uh, I, I can't jump very far. Oh, hey! You found a thing. I need a break. One to go! Oh, my. So shy. Okay, so that's what we're looking at. Hello there. Now I know what to blow. You, sir. Bring back my bonnet to me. Oh, bring back, bring back. Oh, bring back my bonnet to me. There you go. There's your bonnet. Um, all right. Sacre bleu! Have a hat. Um, all right. So that thing's a thing. But what is what is that thing? Okay, sure. Um. Okay, that's not a thing. That's not a thing. Oh, there it is. It's in here. What are you doing? I don't know. Hmm. You a hat? You look like a hat. Come on. Hey, that's a hat. How the fuck do we get this thing out? Maybe I can help you with that. If only I could get in there. You are shiny. There, now you can get in there. Great. Go, go, do your thing. Actually, you know what? You take that hat. You can have this hat. 
but so am I. That's what he said? Sometimes I wonder. Maybe we're all cogs in a machine. Whoa. Hey. I fixed it. <laughs> oh, blimey, me boy. You did it. What? Is the crane working? We have to start the crane. Would you do the honors? Beep boop. Stop her that! Sink me! What happened? Yeah, I'm sorry, me boy. This is too much for me. I'm taking a cock. Mr. Gusteau! Oh. Wake the fuck up! Oh, with that scurvy freebooter. Scurvy freebooter. I guess it's up to us again. Maybe a fuse blew? Happens all the time back at the farm. Space engine, as me and Reese would like to call it. <laughs> Much cooler. <laughs> um, and it's broken. I think something is missing. And what would that be, sir? I can even see my reflection. Hello. Aren't you No, you're the is broken. No, you are. You are. <sighs> We need to fix the generator. No shit. Let's have a look inside the warehouses. The crane is broken. <laughs> what warehouses? Dude, go in there and get that. You. Fix. Fix now. Get. The crane is broken. <laughs> no shit. The crane is broken. Need a thing to throw. The crane is broken. I need this to get gone and destroyed. I don't know how I do that though. The crane is broken. <laughs> I yes. bro the crane is broken. You keep saying that. I do. All right. So there is the basketball shoot thing, sports ball hole for here. Um, I don't know how we were supposed to get that thing to shoot over that away. Shady looking. The crane is broken. I bet he broke. Whoa! You have another one in there? The crane is broken. I bet he. The crane is broken. I bet he broke. Why are you broken? The crane is broken. Something about this guy over here. The crane is broken. Ahoy there! The crane is broken. Damn it. Someone? I don't know what I'm doing at this point. The crane is broken. <laughs> this seems important somehow, but I don't know. I don't know how or why. Oh, 
I am Ah, there we go. I knew it went in there. Okay, let's go. Let's go. The crane is broken. Shut up, kid. The crane is broken. I'm gonna fucking break you, kid. Oh. oh. There you go. You can have it. Oh look! Uh, a thingy. Wake the hell up. Maybe maybe you could do it, Ghost. I'm Knight. I'm trying to. Oh, nay. I can't wait to get back to my silver illegal street racing. <laughs> oh, um, mm. <laughs> Did I say illegal? <laughs> I meant super rad street racing. <laughs> Crunch. Sunflower seed delivered! Yay, go me! This up and down look, it should be different in my mind. This should be up. Should. Let's go to Miss Utini. <laughs> hey, we got another trophy. I'm not even gonna attempt that. Uh, but so that was uh, a realistic. So we didn't make the barrel. We didn't find the bug. But we found we we found the thing to blow, and we found all five hats. So sure, why not? Um, at this point, um, we'll we'll load up. Uh, stage six look at it really quick uh, but I think that's pretty much going to do it uh, this is a, a pretty fun experience uh, but I do think it's gonna be on the short end and I don't know if the price is, is justified voila monsieur tulipe my French is non-existent so hopefully I didn't butcher that too badly all right so we're back here Poke, because you suck. His whole fucking thing is gone. I hope Monsieur Tulip is pleased. There he is, the man of the hour. <laughs> 
<laughs> Thank you, Louis. I'm not give me all your fucking sunflower seeds. You did it. I did. And here's your reward. A sack full of sunflower seeds. Just a single sack? You suck. Oh, thanks. This is just what we need. Do it for you. Now, would you please excuse me? These lilacs need my full attention. Oh dear. It's Marie. What should I do? Hi, Marie. Hi, Louis. Didn't see you there. Or maybe I was ignoring you. Like you ignored me on our opening night. I'm sorry. Wow. Drama. Excuses. We have practiced for months. And we were magnificent. And we were about they to... They even get a stage for their drama. World. Or at least the town. But you stood me up. You could have played on your own. It was a duet. How am I supposed to play a duet on my own? Do I have four arms? What am I? A, 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 an octopus? Dude, you're a dick. has eight arms. I know that. Why didn't you show up at our recital? Because my mom died? I don't see you had a cold. I had a cold. I thought we were friends. We are! Friends don't lie to each other. Dramas. Oh. Cheer up, little guy. Oh, yeah. So, that was Maurice. We're best friends. We're. Or used to be, anyway. Let's go home. Come on, ghosty. It's going to rain soon. We'd better go back. Wow, that's all for scene six? Game might be shorter than I thought. All right. I didn't find the wind windmill or the uh, the ball here but uh, let's go ahead and jump to the outro um, outro and uh, yeah we'll do that okay so that was ghost giant once again from zoink uh, I do think that it's a little bit on the short side for the price uh, you're basically paying for an interactive audible book, but audible books are usually like four times longer at that price. Um, I did like most everything else about the game other than the, uh, the, the shortness of each individual chapter with only being, uh, 13 chapters to it. We plowed through, uh, one through, uh, up to five pretty quickly, except for that getting stuck at chapter four. Uh, so don't forget to poke all of the things. Uh, I was just trying to grab everything that I saw. I wasn't really trying to poke anything unless it was a person. Um, poke all the things is, is basically the, the tip that I can give you. Um, if not for uh, the getting stuck on that, that chapter four, we would have plowed through that story as well. Most of the things are pretty obvious. It's just that occasional one little thing that's going to trip you up. So five to six hours, maybe... I mean, that might not be far off, but I feel like we, uh, I mean, the levels are probably going to get progressively more difficult as you go up. Uh, the first few levels were, were super simple and we, we plowed through them way too quickly. Uh, if the rest of the levels are that same, same length, then, um, maybe look for this on sale, uh, instead of full price. Uh, but, uh, I, I did like. It, it does have decent graphics for PSVR. Um, they I had no problem with the, the, the graphics at all. Uh, the voice acting was good. I definitely enjoyed whoever is voicing the, the kid is definitely good. Um, didn't have a problem with any of the other voice actors that, that we heard. Uh, the PSVR tracking, however, along with the artificial uh, like blocking you from reaching too far out. Uh, initially, I liked it until I got into the gameplay and there was something just out of reach that I wanted to grab. Like, I could reach this far, but my hand will reach this far, but it won't let me do this because I'm artificially blocked by this this haptic wall that is here. Uh, initially, like I said, I liked it, but in practice and actually using it, I didn't really enjoy it that much. I didn't like the artificially limiting my reach. Um, if you want to put that at the bounds of the camera, the, the actual PlayStation camera, that's great. I, I love that. But don't 
shrink my play space even more than the already claustrophobic PC, uh, sorry, not PC, um, the PSVR camera range. It's already so tight and so tiny and so narrow that I can't sidestep or move really at all. And, and you want to take that and shrink that even more? I, yeah, I can't get behind that. Um, it also interfered with some things like very early on with the treehouse, catching the treehouse. Um, trying to lift the treehouse back up, I was hitting the ceiling for that, uh, the, that invisible haptic barrier, I don't even know what to call it, invisible wall for my hand, where I couldn't reach past that to lift the, the treehouse back up. And I don't know if that's just a height adjustment that wasn't taken into account when, when setting that up, or if they just didn't account for my arm length, or, or what, but uh, it, it just... The tracking got a little wonky in, in certain situations, especially with that paintbrush. The paintbrush had some ninja moves. Uh, so it's partially the, the game's haptic wall. I, I think it's it's a 50-50 mix of um, just the game's physics uh, and the, uh, the the basic PSVR tracking issues. Hopefully uh, we, we got some, some leaks on the PS5. Well, they're, they're not really calling it the PS5 yet, but the next generation. Uh, and they hinted at, um, well, the PSVR will be backwards compatible or will be compatible with the PS, the next generation of the PlayStation. Uh, but hopefully we get a new iteration of PSVR when that launches. Um, won't be anytime this year, but forward thinking, hopefully the next iteration of PSVR will have a better camera than just the, uh, the, the PlayStation I. Um, but yeah, that is... I digress there a little bit, getting on a tangent about PlayStation, which I probably shouldn't do. But Ghost Giant, fun game. Uh, a it, it feels like it's going to be a good story. Uh, maybe not great and wonderful, but a story worth uh, listening to uh, if you enjoy you know audio, audiobooks or you know interactive experiences more so than than games with light puzzle aspects. Then this is right up your alley. Go ahead and pick this up. Uh, again, though, I do think it is a little pricey for the time frame that it is. Maybe wait for it to be on sale. Uh, but yeah, this is going to be recommended for the, the story. So that was Ghost Giant. Thank you for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please hit that like, subscribe, comment down below. Check out any of the various other links in the description below to support the channel. As always, join the Discord. We have a budding community growing there. I would love to see fresh faces in there chatting about VR and just having fun joining me uh for games once i'm done recording this uh, about to jump into some more sky world and uh uh hopefully get some viewer matches going on on, on stream uh so i'll see you there this will release well after that but hopefully i saw you there in the past i'll see you guys later later bye i'm going now